Hi Cancer and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of February 4th through February 10th, 2019. We have the Chinese New Year this week as well as the Aquarius New Moon. So at the end of the video, Cancer, I'm going to do something a little bit fun just in honor of the Chinese New Year. But let's start your reading off by seeing which area of your life you are most focused on this week. Ooh, we've got the 12th house. Um, I believe Sagittarius Sagittarius and Pisces also received this card. So, Cancer, not surprised just considering all the astrology um, that we've had. You guys are dealing with karmic um, energies, karmic ends, completions of cycles, um, old energy finally really shifting out, life lessons really coming up through your consciousness this week. Really, um, you know, with the 12th house for me it's always karmic it's always destiny it's always like the life lessons that are entailed and you know where are we at in that so uh with this right here cancer things are are finally completing but this is like a good energy okay um it's not like it's not like this junky hard dark night of the soul it's like no it's time to move beyond those um swampy waters so let's uh pull another card here to gain some more insight all right so we have the man cancer what this tells me is um we this week you guys your energy is very masculine whether you are female or male it's like you're really coming into your your own or to a knowing or to an understanding like I said lessons uh, coming up into your consciousness um, you taking a lot of accountability and responsibility um, you being the leader this week just um, holding the whole team together some of you so wow cancer this is actually intense and you know everybody's reading has been kind of intense this week just for a weekly but not intense in a bad way it's just like man spirit is so up in everybody's world this week so let's pull some tarot here all right nice five of cups but guess what cancer in this position finally moving on from the sadness from the loneliness from the heartache from the sense of betrayal um, from the lack of clarity it, oh nice 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 yep and now we're moving into this energy where uh, it's much more balanced people are giving as much as they're taking and you are feeling very empowered very wise very satisfied within yourself you're just like the leader of the pack some of you this week yeah and you know where we were encountering difficulties troubling communications conversations um you know somebody just being incredibly irritating difficult petty all those things that energy is shifting this week and it's like Oh, right. Teach me. I want to learn from you. Um, I'm intimidated by you, but I know I have a lot to learn from you. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And with the man card here, I'm not surprised because this to me, it could be a child. Okay. But this to me is coming through as a page. Um, more in like talking about the difference in your energy compared to their energy because look at what's out next another page and this is the page of Pentacles under the five of cups and in this position cancer this is where somebody has abandoned something something very promising something that held um, a lot of energy a lot of emotion it, it was very lucrative and you know we had to abandon it or it abandoned us and it brought a lot of sadness but guess what now that's a shift of that energy there's something new being offered that's an empty cornucopia now and there's something new in your hands being offered to you okay but also again feeling like you are very much the leader the decision maker the more dominant energy this week under the six of coins we have this Four of Cups. So, um, 
this is to me coming out like this because where the energy has been really intense and hard and heavy and just kind of ongoing for some time now it's like six of pentacles and four of cups it's very balanced it's boring it's so smooth that it's boring but that's nice right it's a nice flow of energy oh yeah because look at that we have the lovers under this um page of swords so and then in, in this position cancer this is I'm sorry um, you know we just have this great soul connection and look we have uh, four five six and six and two pages so four five six the progression of energy there's a completion taking place um, cancer where somebody has been very difficult hard to get along with, being petty, that energy is totally shifting this week. You are also coming into an understanding of how to handle this person better, um, what, how to say your words in a way that they really respond to and are receptive to and don't. Because this energy, this personality is somebody who is easily offended. It's somebody who's very defensive and kind of insecure about themselves and just different things. And um, you might have a way Way of pushing those hot buttons within them not in a malicious sense but in just a like I want to help you grow I want I want to break you out of your shell I want to break you out of your mold I see you, your potential and they may have been fighting you and taking a lot of offense and now this week it's like all that nasty energy is shifting okay and it's like time for reconnection, for apologizing, for really seeing each other's um, perspectives and, and coming together in a very nice agreement. The energy is very flowy. It's kind of a boring energy, but I think just based on what you've been going through, you like that. You are very empowered and very much in control this week. Cancer, my goodness. So let's pull a chakra diet. Okay, ooh, so we've got the root chakra for you, Cancer. Um, so yeah, this has a lot to do with stability, foundation, um, assets, resources, feeling secure and feeling stable. Um, and now that to me, that's the restoration of that energy to the chakra just because we have 12th house and the way I see this all playing out. So it's like a balance to the root chakra this week. And um yeah look at one it came out and i to me 12 and did you see how it flew right under there 12 the completion of a cycle one the brand new beginning of another restoration to that root chakra so i will clarify with one card um in this position here where i'm like well it's kind of a boring energy but that's okay you know that's what we want we don't want a lot of heaviness Solitude. Oh my gosh. Um, cancer. So uh, one and solitude. You might be um, if, if you need to completely disconnect from a situation from a person and you've been really hesitant about it because of a fear of being alone being completely on your own. Um, being segregated, you know, whatever it is, Cancer, this is Spirit saying you are better off on your own living a boring life than to put up with what you've been going through. And you, that's coming into your consciousness this week, 100% it, it, for sure. And so, you know, whoever this is right here where we're, the energies are mending this week, you have a decision to make. Even though we're going to be okay, you might be best served to spend a lot of time by yourself on your own this week, Cancer, um, and just kind of let all this energy filter through you because it, it might feel a bit intense. And you know what else? Because the page could represent an Aquarius and we're having the Aquarius new moon this week, um, that energy is very strong in you. It's bringing forth a new beginning a new start especially in matters to like love romance or things that really really matter inside of your heart and it's like this new energy coming in and being given to you new opportunity okay with the uh one coming out so 
you know, very powerful, Cancer. I, I really like your reading. It's a nice shift of energy. You're feeling empowered. You're feeling confident. You're feeling sure. And there's something new that's knocking on your door, coming your way, being offered to you. And it, it's very sound and legitimate. It, it's not... It's not phony baloney, Cancer. So let's pull some advice for you guys. And, um, you know, strong energy of some of you dealing with the Gemini for sure. Okay. I am at home in my body and at peace in my spirit. Uh, yeah, Cancer, this to me is kind of like that solitude energy where you are better served this week to also spend a lot of time in your own energy, in your own space without anybody in it um, because of it just because you're completing this 12th house energy and it's a good thing, um, it's still kind of intense as you feel it. Like you might, some of you guys might be feeling really sensitive emotionally and you're like, oh my God, what is going on? It's because you're clearing this 12th house energy. So it's like nothing's wrong. It's just energy shifting um, around inside of you. And that's why you might be better served to just kind of really be on your own this week and not participate in a lot of activities outside of your responsibilities, okay? So, um, Cancer, those are your messages for this week, but because it is the Chinese New Year, I thought it would be fun to pull a card to see which full moon is the luckiest time period for you during 2019. Doesn't mean you won't have luck and fun all year long, but what is the luckiest time for Cancer? We have, oh my gosh, look at here's Gemini energy again. The answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. And that actually takes place in November, Cancer. But again, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have answers before then or fun and clarity and happiness. This is just saying by November of 2019, you are in a whole different uh, dimension of existence and understanding and perception and life is going to be a lot different and every single thing that you have that you find confusion about or you're just kind of eh about um, the answers are coming the answers are coming cancer and you don't um, you don't need to worry you don't need to fret just allow the energy to flow through you and you'll know what to do and you'll know what you want and this man very strong Gemini connection so I'm going to um, pull you a little fortune cookie here for the uh, Chinese New Year so let's see what your fortune says and it says Oh, you will bring sunshine into somebody's life. I love it, especially with the lovers here, Cancer. But this week, it's like you got to be alone till we, we filter out this 12th house energy. And, um, you know, you're, you're all balanced within yourself. And I just see you so empowered this week. But, yeah, you, your beautiful energy, who you are is just the inspiration for somebody else this week so keep that in mind and I think it has a lot to do with this person right here and they're like all oh, right I was wrong I really want to learn from you I want to understand from you because you see how gray and cloudy this is you are the reason that there is sunshine in this person's world all right cancer so those are your messages I am wishing you all the best take care